guys so today i have my drugstore favorites for you i've been asked a couple of times on instagram to do this video so i thought i'd do it as i know there is a lot of people out there on a budget and who don't like to spend as much money on makeup and all that jazz so yeah i'm just going to get into the video as i do have a lot of things to talk about so i'm going to start off with the base so the primer the foundation the concealer all that so my favorite drugstore primers are the l'oreal paris nude magique blur cream the l'oreal paris lumi magique primer and the 17 skin wow freeway highlighter so this has more of a matte finish whereas these two are more sort of shimmery and luminous so i like to wear these more in the summer and i like to wear this more sort of in the winter months or if i'm going for more of a matte finish to my makeup then i'll use this one also this one it blurs out any redness or any uneven bits in your skin that you may have so yeah this one's really nice the other two are as i said really nice and luminous and feel really lightweight on the skin and are perfect for summer so i'm just going to give you an example of one of them so this one comes out white and i'm just going to blend that in and i don't know if you can see but it just gives a real nice sort of luminous glow to the skin it just makes the skin look really nice and healthy and these are all under 10 pound next for foundation my favorite drugstore foundation is the bourgeois healthy mix now this gives again a luminous glow to the skin but if you have a t-zone like me you can actually matte sort of your t-zone out with like powder and the rest of your face look nice and sort of healthy so yeah you can actually matte this foundation down if you want to so my shades in these two are 56 light bronze which is what i use when i'm fake tanned and the shade i use when i'm not fake tanned is 52 vanilla so yeah i love these two and again these are about eight pound each moving on to concealer my favorite drugstore concealer is the collection last imperfection concealer and i have three shades here now this is a really nice medium to full coverage concealer and it's beautiful under the eyes as long as you set it in place with the powder so then it doesn't crease and this is great if you have any blemishes or redness or uneven skin tone anything like that as it will cover it but it won't look too cakey so the shades i have is fair one which i like to use under my eyes cool medium which i like to cover any blemishes when i'm not fake tanned and then i have warm medium three which is what i use when i'm fake tanned and i want to cover any blemishes or imperfections so yeah this concealer is about four to five pound which is really good in my opinion so moving on to bronzer my favorite drugstore bronzer is the nyc smooth skin bronzing face powder and this is in the shade sunny and this is just a really nice medium brown bronzer it's not too orangey like some other drugstore bronzers and it's matte so it's perfect for contouring and this cost me literally about two dollars so it's really cheap and the best bit about it is if you're on the go and traveling with it there's actually a mirror on it that you can use so that's always a bonus my other favorite bronzer slash contouring product from the drugstore is the sleek contour kit and that also comes with a highlighter but unfortunately at the moment i can't actually find mine so that's a bit annoying but i believe it's about eight pound and it comes in all different shades from light to dark moving so. on to blushes as i have quite a few different ones my first favorite is the cheapest and this is from natural collection and this cost me 199 and this is a natural collection blush in the shade pink cloud i don't know if you'll be able to see that or not but it's just a really nice dusty pink shade and it's also matte so it's really nice if you don't want a shimmery sort of look to the cheeks then it is matte my next favorites are from elf and i have the shade fuchsia fusion and the shade twinkle pink now these two are both shimmery and they cost about i think three to four dollars each so this one is fuchsia fusion as you can see it's a lot darker than the natural collection one and this one's obviously got shimmer in it and this one doesn't the next one is twinkle pink and this is more of a peachy pink with shimmer as you can see this one's a lot peachier than this one this is more of your true barbie pink as this is more of a peachy sort of pink shade but yeah i love these two and i think they're perfect for the summer if you want a little bit of sparkle in your cheeks my last favorite blusher is by milani and this is my holy grail blusher this is in the shade luminoso and you've probably heard everyone and they're like gran rave about it the great thing about the milani ones is they come with a mirror and a brush and i also think this brush is perfect for contouring as well as you can really get in like your cheekbones this is just the perfect peachy shade with slight glitter particles running through it and that cost me about five or six dollars so again very cheap moving on to highlighters as i said i do have one in the sleek contour kit that's my favorite drugstore highlighter but 
other than that i really like these makeup revolution vivid baked highlighters and i have three here to show you so the first one is in the shade pink lights and i also love the pattern of these it's just like a really nice sort of mosaic shell pattern to it and that's a swatch of it there on this finger the next one is peach lights and that's a swatch of that one the last one I have to show you is actually one of their Vivid Baked Bronzers, but I'd say this is more of a highlighter. I'd say this is a perfect dupe for Max Gold Deposit, I think it is. And these are all £3 each, which I think is a bargain. And they're great for travelling also, especially if you have a Z palette, you could easily depot these and put like all three in like one of them and you're good to go. Moving on to the eyes, for the eye primer, I would use one of these. And these are the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils and I have three shades here. And the first shade is the shade Milk, which I would use with any neutral eyeshadows. And I just think this is a perfect base for any eyeshadow look. And also the great thing about these is if you're working with colour, they really do make the colour pop and bring out the colour more. So that's Milk there. The next shade I have to show you is the shade Black Bean. And this one is perfect for a black smoky eye as you can just use this for the base and just blend it out and the last shade I have here is the shade Colbert and this is the perfect Colbert blue shade I'd also say this one has a little bit of shimmer in it and that's it there and as I said these are perfect for working with colour and these will cost literally about four to five pounds and if you live in america then they cost about five dollars each i think i also love using the white one underneath my eyebrow as i really find it helps to lift the brow and give more of a highlighted effect underneath there so the last eye base i forgot to mention is by maybelline and this is their 24 hour color tattoo in the shade eternal gold and this is what it looks like it's just a cream consistency i'm trying to swatch this without getting it under my nail but yeah this is a swatch of it here it's just this really nice true gold shade and what I love about this is if you was doing a really nice black smoky intense eye you could just pop a tiny bit of this on the lid and just bring that little bit of colour back into the eye so I just really love these especially working with colour and gold eyeshadows and colours that you want to be sort of more shimmery and intense I really love using this and I think this is about five to six pound again moving on to eyeshadows the first little palette I have to show you is from Wet n Wild and you do get two little brushes with this but I actually chuck them out now this this palette is the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells palette and what I love about this is that it tells you where to put the shadows so if you're new to eyeshadows or or you're a beginner in makeup you can then use this as your sort of guideline and the first shadow is this really nice sort of pearlescent shimmery shade and it says brow bone so you know to put that just underneath your brow bone just to lift the brow the second shade is for the crease and this is just a really nice little warm golden brown shade and then the last shade is for the eyelid and it's just this really nice sort of pinky shimmery shade and as you can see they're really highly pigmented as well and literally all of their eyeshadow palettes are about $3 each or some are even $2. So I just think that's a bargain. My next favourite drugstore eyeshadows are from MUA and Makeup Revolution. Now these two are from Makeup Revolution. And these are the Makeup Revolution Mono eyeshadows. And these have shimmer in them. And this is the shade Sold Out. I'd say this is the perfect dupe for MAC Satin Taupe eyeshadow. And as you can see, they're so pigmented. Then this is the shade Insomnia. It's just a really nice deep purple. And they're a pound each, so what more could you want? Now the next are from MUA, and I own a lot more of these. So these, again, are a pound each. And this one is in the shade Fudge. And if you watch my makeup tutorials, then you'll know I use this as my base shadow, just to blend out all the other shadows and help them blend seamlessly. And you can't really get a good swatch of this as it's just like plain sort of skin tone shade. But yeah, I love using that all over my lid. And the next one is in the shade bronze and that's it there. And again, it's just a really beautiful bronzy metallic shade. And these are so buttery. Then the last singular eyeshadow from them I have is the shade pewter. And it's just this gorgeous blue shade. Also from MUA, I have their eyeshadow palettes. The first one I use a lot more, and this is their neutral palette. And also the great thing about this is it's matte. So if you're starting off using eyeshadows, I'd always recommend using matte shadows, as shimmery ones can get you in a bit of a mess. And it also has a matte black in here, which a lot of eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore don't actually have. And this is called the MUA Ever After Matte Palette. 
the last eyeshadow palette I have from them is the MUA Matte Palette in the shade Winter Forest. And this one, again, is obviously matte and it has more sort of colours in this one. Perfect for summer, especially with this really gorgeous blue shade here. And they're £4 each. So my favourite eyeliners from the drugstore. My favourite liquid liner from the drugstore is the Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Eyeliner. And this does not budge. You can leave it on and it lasts all day and it's actually quite hard to remove. So I'd recommend buying a waterproof eye makeup remover if you're going to purchase this. This costs literally about $2. Wow. My favourite gel liner from the drugstore is the Maybelline New York Eye Studio Gel and this is in the shade Blackest Black and this is again perfect. This is really easy to apply and it stays all day. My favourite coal liners from the drugstore are these Rimmel Coal Kajal liners and I have the shade black and I have the shade nude and this one is perfect for tight lining. Perfect if you're doing a black smoky eye and you sort of want to smudge it underneath your lower lashes as it blends really nicely and then this one's really nice for the waterline to sort of open the eye up. Moving on to mascaras, my favourite drugstore mascaras are the Maybelline The Colossal Go Extreme Volume and the L'Oreal Paris Mega Volume Miss Manga Mascara. So this one I find is perfect for volume. So as you can see the brush for this one is really nice and flared out and really sort of thick. So it's great for grabbing hold of your lashes and adding some volume. The brush on this one is a lot thinner but this one has a really nice bendy one so you can really sort of wiggle it into your lashes and sort of grab every lash. So I would recommend this one for the top lashes for the volume and I would recommend this one for the bottom lashes to grab hold of your lashes and really sort of lengthen them. Now onto false eyelashes, I know a lot of people won't sort of wear these especially if you're a beginner in makeup but my favourite brands from the drugstore are the Eyelure eyelashes which I'm wearing today. These are the Eyelure 202 lashes and they're just the perfect volumising lashes and they don't actually sell these in the drugstores over in England but the red cherry eyelashes are perfect if you're starting out in makeup or starting out wearing false eyelashes as they're only £2.99 each. The Eyelure ones are actually about five to six pound or maybe seven pound but I think they're great for value and you can use them so many times. My favourite false eyelash glue is by Revlon and this is a Revlon Precision Dark Lash Adhesive. This is hands down the best eyelash glue I've ever used and this is about five pound. It's also waterproof and it comes in two different tones. I obviously have the dark one and it also comes in clear as well so if you're using a clear lash band it's great as it won't leave a sort of black mark on it. Moving on to eyebrows I have the elf eyebrow kit and this cost me about three dollars and again it came with brushes but I don't use them and it also comes with a mirror which is really handy and it just has your wax and your powder so at first you use the wax to set the brow hairs in place then you just go over it with the powder to set it all in place and all that jazz and then I have these ones by sleek and they do exactly the same thing and again these ones have the mirror the wax and the powder and the little tweezers and the little brushes and I have two colours of the sleek ones so as you can see they're well loved this is the dark one and then the one I just showed was the light one and they're a little bit more pricey than the elf ones they're about £8 whereas the elf one's about three to £4 now if you don't want to use wax on your eyebrows you could actually just use the shades from the MUA palette I showed earlier. So, so if you had light sort of blondish hair I'd use this shade here which is the shade Chino. Or if you were sort of like a medium to dark hair then I would recommend the shade Penny. Now if you have black hair I'd recommend this shade here which is called Truffle. And if you want to set your brows in place and make sure they stay all day, then I'd recommend using a clear mascara. And I've just got this one here. This is just by Miss Sporty. I think this is about $1.99. But yeah, it's just a clear mascara. And you just use that all over your brows just to set them in place. Moving on to lips. So I'm going to start with lip balm. And I've got these two here, which are the Maybelline Baby Lips. The first shade I've got is Peach Kiss. And it's just this really gorgeous peachy shade. And you could just wear this if you didn't want to wear any lipstick or anything. But you just wanted a little bit of, of a tint to your lips. And just to make them really nice and healthy. And these also smell really nice. This one smells of peaches. And the second one I own is called Berry Bomb. Now you could wear this if you wanted, again, more of a tint to your lips. But this one is more of a sort of a purpley tint. So perfect for summer. Whereas the other one doesn't really have much of a payoff, but it just makes them look a bit more healthier than 
having nothing on them. So I believe these are about £1.99 each. My other favourite lip balm is the EOS Lip Balms. And these don't have any colour payoff whatsoever. They're just a plain lip balm. But they smell really nice and again they're really cheap. These cost me literally about $3. If you live in England like me you can actually buy them off eBay. And I think they're about £3 or something off eBay. But yeah, I really recommend them as they're really nice and moisturising on the lips. For lip liner, I have three here. And the first two are nude shades. So the first one is a Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner. And this one is in the shade Spice. I'm running out of places to swatch this. And that's it there. This is the perfect shade for that sort of Kylie Jenner lip that everyone keeps raving about and the next one i have is from primark and this is honestly gorgeous and this one is just a little bit lighter and a little bit more of a peachy shade than the spice one and the primark one cost a pound and this cost about three to four pound my favorite red from the drugstore is the max factor color elixir lip liner and this is in the shade red rush and that's it there it's just the perfect true red shade and that was about £5. For lipsticks, I have these ones by Makeup Revolution. And these are a pound. I've got a peachy shade here. And I've got a red. And again, these are really highly pigmented. And they also smell of cocoa butter. So I'm not going to swatch these as I do have a lot going on on my hand. But yeah, they're really pigmented. And they smell really nice. And they also don't dry out your lips as they are quite matte. The next one is by Wet n Wild and this is my perfect nude from the drugstore and this is in the shade Bear It All and this literally cost me about $2 so that's it there. My next two favourites are from NYX and these are the NYX Butter Lipsticks. I have the shade Snowcap and the shade Cotton Candy. This is the perfect sort of peachy pink shade I think. And then this one again is sort of my perfect everyday nude as it's not too brown but it's more of a sort of a peachy shade. And these ones are quite sheer, they're not like matte at all, they're just sort of like more of a tinted lip balm I'd say. And my last lip favourite is this Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet and this is in the shade 03 Hot Pepper. And I'm going to swatch this because I want to show you what this is like. This is just really pigmented and the best thing about this is it dries matte. That's it there. This is a little bit more expensive. This is about £8.99. But, but if you get it from Boots or Superdrug, you can normally get like a free for two. Offer. So that's all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any video requests, then just leave them in the comments down below. And I'll be sure to get back to you. I really hope this video helps some of you out. As I know there is a lot of people that do prefer to buy things from the drugstore. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!